Welcome back. It's about time we talk about Thanksgiving. It's right around the corner, hard to believe. What can you do to remix some of those classic recipes? Well, I recently spoke with Jocelyn Delk Adams. She has some fun and simple ideas for us. Let's take a look. Perhaps one of the most beloved pastimes at Thanksgiving is cooking traditional family recipes. Cookbook author and founder of food website GrandbabyCakes.com, Jocelyn Delk Adams, joins us to share some of her twists on Thanksgiving favorites, as well as talk about the launch of Libby's Vegetables' ninth annual Cans Giving Contest with a chance to win a $5,000 college scholarship. Jocelyn, thanks for being here today. Oh, thanks so much for having me. The holidays can be such a busy time. What are some tips you have for families to make them fun, easy, and delicious? Well, for me, I love to really sort of take these family recipes and give them a new spin and remix them. I also like to get in the kitchen with my family members. It makes it so much fun for all of us, and it cuts down on time instead of having just one person working on all the recipes. So today, I've actually got some new recipes here that are inspired by our traditional classic recipes that we have every single Thanksgiving, but I've given them a remix and a fun twist. What dishes do you have planned for Thanksgiving this year? And are you using family recipes or adding your own? Well, actually, I'm doing a mix of both. So I'm taking family recipes and I'm sort of jazzing them up a bit. So for instance, every Thanksgiving, we have, you know, green bean casserole and we have dinner rolls. But this year, I'm kind of, you know, adding some new and unique twists to them. So for instance, the dinner roll recipe that we usually had, I'm adding some potatoes to that. Um, to add the dough, to make the dough a little richer and more exciting and it's fluffy and delicious. And then I'm at lathering the whole thing with an herby butter. And then here I've got a green bean casserole, but instead of like the traditional way in which you make it, I've added some mushrooms to it. I've also added a lot more garlic flavor. And then I've topped the whole thing with some panko breadcrumbs for that nice texture and that nice crunch. Oh, it looks and sounds delicious. What are some tips you have for getting picky eaters to enjoy nutritious dishes? Well, I am certainly one to know about picky eaters because my daughter, who's three, is very picky. And it's very hard to get her to eat vegetables. And so I have to basically sneak them into her foods. So this is the struggle of a mom, right? We have to figure out ways to get our babies to eat their vegetables and even our adults because my husband is the same way too. So um, what I love to do is I take recipes that she actually loves, like chicken pot pie, and I add as many vegetables to that as possible and things like smoothies which she loves I, I sneak some some greens into that as well and she also she just she just gobbles it up and and that's the way I can win there and we hear there's a five thousand dollar college scholarship up for grabs tell us about that Yes, so I'm excited to be here uh, partnering with Libby's Vegetables to share the announcement of their annual Cans Giving Contest. And we're inviting cooks to do exactly what I mentioned before, take those classic family recipes and then revamp them, really make them your own. So for instance, you can take a classic family recipe, use a can of Libby's Vegetables and really just you know, add some creativity to that. And then you take that recipe and then you enter the contest. You can enter on Instagram using the hashtag Libby's Cans Giving Contest, or you can enter at Libby's Cans Giving.com. And this contest runs from November 8th through the 28th. And that's how you can win $5,000. It's pretty fun, right? Oh, yeah. So much fun. Money, <laughs> great recipes, great food. It's a win, win, win. Where can we get more information? It, <laughs> you can visit Livy'sCansGiving.com for more information. Will do. Well, thank you so much, Jocelyn. It's been such a joy talking with you today, and have a great holiday season. Oh, same to you. Happy holidays.